Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, look at the size of that. Hi, Megan Bow Gang, and welcome back to another episode. We're on a kayak. I was supposed to go red fishing today. I was supposed to be in my boat. But a uh, little situation happened. I decided to bring my prop to a guy named Bag Getting Home and to get it worked. And did all that because I was going to pick up a new three blade prop. See how that would work out on my boat. Well, I we went pick up the three blade prop, came back home, it didn't fit. So now my two blade prop is being worked on and I'm out of a prop at the moment. And then we decided to go kayak fishing. We got Dean coming around. He's gonna be shooting uh, some B-roll, maybe some me from the distance. But we didn't get to launch the kayaks, but I wanted to because there was too many lilies, a sign that says they'll tow you away if you leave your car there and all that good stuff. So that all being said, we're doing some kayak fishing today. Let's just jump right into it before anything else goes wrong. Start off today with the chug bug, a little top water. The main objective today is but not to get run over by an airboat. Or eaten by an alligator, because that would that would also suck. Oh come on. Too early for this noise. There we go. Ooh, nice cast. It's right where I wanted it. God dang them sand flies. And no. Oh, there we go. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. Little dink to start the morning. How you doing, buddy? All right. There we go. Little green trout. There she goes. Little green trout to start the mining. How you doing, little buddy? All right. All right, little buddy, go grow some more. See if I can cope on your daddy. All right, I'm gonna fish this little tree some more because I seen him chasing some shad there a second ago. Let's see if his partner's is right there with him. Oh, oh, good grass is though. Hello. Missed the bite, but another little dink. Jumped up and just smashed it. And of course, uh, yeah, I didn't have the cameras running because I'm an idiot. Mhm. Mm Two for the chug bug. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Take it easy there, partner. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I will save you. Uh. Alright, dude. Go on with your bad self. Alright. Coffee break. And I was just about to change the lures, too. And uh, that happened, so. I guess we'll stick with this just a little bit longer. Oh, oh, there we go. Another one. Another one. Ooh, we in Dink City, fellas. Dink City. They're getting smaller. Look at these guys. Getting smaller. Pretty soon we'll be in bluegill territory, yeah. Birch gherkin. Night, dude. Look at that. Look at that little guy. He's healthy, though. He's a healthy little dude. Well, that's three for the morning. If we get any smaller, though, 
but I won't even feel them. Ooh. Garfish. Getting garfish everywhere. Everywhere I go. Alright, we haven't had a bite in a while. Haven't seen nor sign nor hair of a bass. So I'm switching over to the, we're gonna do a little panfish duty here. We got a little slide and bobber, got my little jig right here. And don't have any real worms, which I wish I would have brought, but I got these crappy nibblers, uh, this power bait crappy nibbles, and some gulp red worms. So let's see if we can do a little panfish slaying. And I still got all my other rods and lures, so if we see anything that looks really juicy for a bass, we'll give her a toss too. But I want to catch some fish, you know? Don't matter what it is. I'm not picky. So, so what happened was, I didn't get a single bite from a perch. So I thought, day's over with. I'm just going to throw on this whopper plopper and work my way back out. Not even worried about filming. That's what happens. So now, I'm about to change the battery on the GoPros and keep on fishing. You just never know. And there she goes. All right, buddy. I guess I gotta leave the cameras on again. Ooh, that sounds hot. Cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the size of that garfish. <laughs> look at this dude. Come on, buddy. What you gonna do? You gonna spit it? I hope you gonna spit it. I really don't, oh my goodness. Well, it's fun fighting him. Look at the size, of... oh, oh, jeez him, he almost got me. That was a big old boy, big old spot of gar. He cocheted that and had himself hooked for a little while. They got such bony mouths though, it's hard for them to get hooked, which is a, a good thing if you don't want to catch him, which I don't. Thought he was a big old bass at first. I guess I should have known better. But that was a fun fight. Got the adrenaline pumping. Oh, oh, another garfish. That gummit. That dude scared the bejesus out of me. Though for sure that was a bass. God dog it. Them suckers is everywhere. Messing my emotions. I hate them little suckers. Now if there was a big old alligator gar, bigger than the one we caught earlier, or hooked earlier, I'd be alright with that. Because then... They were cleaning. Of course, that, that spotted gar probably could have cleaned him up and got a little bit of filet off of him, but a little gar fish back strap. But you know, I don't want to mess with that unless it's a good chunk of meat. But if y'all are curious on how, how to clean it, if you want to know how to clean a gar fish, leave that in the comments below and I'll, uh, I could do a video on that. Go try and get us a big old monster one. And there's the airboats I was talking about. I'm getting out of here just in time. 